I'm going to share with you a recipe that's been in the family for over 30 years. My mother-in-law used to make it every weekend and then when I started my own family I started making it for my kids and I'm also going to share it with you guys. I have here two cups of flour. I'm going to add a tablespoon of baking powder. Not tablespoon. A teaspoon of baking powder and a teaspoon of salt and I mix it all together now I have two sticks of butter my butter and eggs should be at room temperature so we'll start with the butter two cups of sugar a teaspoon of vanilla and let's mix this I'm gonna add five eggs but I have to save the egg whites for later. Make sure you scrape from the bottom so you get all the ingredients. And continue to beat until light and fluffy. I'm gonna need half a cup of evaporated milk. I'm gonna slowly add this to the batter. Beat all the wet ingredients for about three minutes, high speed. And then now I'm going to beat the egg whites until it's stiff. Consistency, it's stiff, but it's not dry. Now I'm gonna mix these two together manually because I don't want the flour to fly all over. I'll just Put it there and then I'm gonna put it back and mix it. And then I'm gonna mix it until it's smooth. And it's time to fold the egg whites. I just put little by little and make sure I fold it mix it completely with this batter. I'm going to spray a little bit here so it won't stick. And we're gonna bake this for about 55 minutes. Sometimes you can bake it for an hour. You have to make sure it doesn't get dry. So I always check it right at 55 minutes. I check to make sure I get a toothpick and make sure that it's done. Make sure you have enough time to have your butter and your eggs at room temperature because that's very important. I really don't know where my mother-in-law got this recipe, but it's just good. I try to look online, but I can't find a recipe that's exactly like this one. And this is ready. I actually have one in the oven cooking. This actually took an hour and three minutes. Put it here. I'm gonna have to let it cool off before I can take it out. Ooh, that's good. <laughs> I'm waiting for my cake to cool down. I'm gonna make my own whipped cream so I can serve it with some raspberry. A cup. Add a tablespoon of powdered sugar and a little bit of vanilla, just a drop, a little bit. Make sure you don't over mix or you're gonna end up with butter. And I'm gonna keep it in the fridge to keep it cold. And then I'm gonna start making the glaze for the cake. Glaze, I have a cup of powdered sugar. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of evaporated milk. So you have to really mix this together. To loosen the bottom to make sure it's not sticking in there. One, two, three. A different 
icing topping on this you could, you could add cream cheese but this is just perfect for this kind of cake i guarantee you you try this and you're gonna love it now you can serve it with whipped cream and raspberries or just by itself with a cup of tea or coffee enjoy <laughs>